The word witch derives from the ancient word witcha, which means wisdom, the wise. The reason witches have a bad reputation is because powerful women had a bad reputation given to them by the priesthood, by religion. Hmm? This is like the times of, you know, when when, when Christianity started going into uh, spreading over Europe and paganism was um, persecuted and diminished and exiled and slaughtered um, and forced to take Christianity and... Um, deny their gods of nature it's like that silver lining in between of the time where things are still existing simultaneously and the scales are changing and there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that and back then it didn't work with harmony there was an attempt of christianity to take the pagans pagan pagan actually means the literal meaning of it is a countryman or a country woman someone that works the earth a peasant okay working the earth working the gods of the earth working the elements the great mother fire earth wind um, water and there was this attempt to draw them in by using their symbols for example the cross is actually originated from the Celt so this is the regular cross as we know it right this part is long this part is short the original Celtic cross is like this an equal um, plus sign that symbolizes balance between the elements, the four elements, um, air, earth, fire, water, north, south, east, west, the physical, the emotional, the cognitive, and the spiritual, and so on. And for some reason, I feel all of that, we're far away from being in these times, but we're actually not because Okay, bear with me. I'll, 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 I'll find the connection to this reading and how it speaks to you guys. Because it, it's just here, so I need to talk about it. Um, these days are very similar to those days that I just described. The end of paganism, the beginning of Christianity and religion. The end of um, matriarchy and the, and the beginning of patriarchy. Before patriarchy, this for those of you who think that historically patri... Um, patriarchy was the ruler no before patriarchy there was matriarchy working the land working the great mother women were in most tribes women were the uh, leading force things have shifted about 2500 years ago between 2003 and 4000 years ago the shift has started but this hasn't been the same as today back then now that shift is a similar shift we're going through today except the opposite now we're going from uh, patriarchy back to matriarchy. Now, it's not really, it's back and forward, okay? We're thinking like, oh, women's right, we're progressing finally, but we're actually going back to how it originally was. Originally, the woman was highly regarded and highly respected. Um, and the Viking culture, the most badass culture that I can think of anyway, Vikings were ferocious warriors. Um, women were on the same level as men when it comes to warfare, fighting, uh, strategizing, being in the battlefield, bleeding, dying, killing, all that jazz. I'm sorry for going grotesque. It's just to express how... I'm not a feminist. I'm a goddess. Not to deny feminism. I'm just saying why stop there you're a freaking goddess lady divine feminine and dear man don't get me wrong you're a badass lover i love you you are worthy you are you are important but this is what happens when we go from one extreme and we seek balance we first have to go to the other extreme okay so if we were in the extreme of matriarchy thousands of years ago now we've been in the extreme of patriarchy 
thousands of years. Now we're little by little beginning to shift back on the scale and finding the balance between the matriarch and the patriarch and their bo and both of their wisdom and how they complete each other and how they emerge. So right now they are on the two far ends of the table. How do we do this? And I feel like the queen cooking. Cooking is not the art fo form of the uh, submissive woman. Cooking is the art form, form of a witch. It is perfect, delicate balance between matters. It's alchemy. Everyone can take materials, but not everyone can make magic out of it, can make a perfect stew or, or, or a dish that is just delicious. It requires inner balance to know how to balance the temper, like the temperance card, all the materials. It requires a combination of the recipe, knowing, having like cognitive knowledge of what works with what, but also intuition. Just intuitively knowing how much to put and when it, and at what point and what, what kind of heat it needs to be on. Medium heat, high heat, low heat, all that. How much water, how much emotion to put, how much fire, how much passion to put. How much should it wait and sit and cook how much earth to put? How much time does it need to chill and cool down? How much air to put? Okay, Cancer. So this this is this became a very spiritual, energetic reading. I, I I enjoy this immensely. I don't get me wrong. I love to talk about love and mundane things. It's important. Money, sex, yay, fun, 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 fun. But this stuff is what gets me really um, excited. Now, whenever I have the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords in a reading, I have to take it back to more, you know, to the to the paganism. Um, Morgane Le Fay, I or Morgana Le Fay, um, she was King Arthur's half sister, the, the High Priestess of Avalon, the Island of Apples, and a, mo a lot of people don't know it. I don't know if you know this, but High priestesses in those times were also the forgers of swords. They would forge swords. She's also the one who forged King Arthur's sword with Merlin. Okay, so there's a strong connection to that mythology um, of the Excalibur. Um, the Hierophant and the High Priestess here are now very much aligned with themselves. They're like, they don't need to go through a further journey to find themselves. They have found themselves and now they just need to go with their path. And in the twin flame journey, by the way, that's usually when there's union, when two people, it's not two halves, but two holes. You, you know the narrative. Okay. Um, but, I, okay, let's keep going. I don't, I don't like to give definitions like that. Twin flame, soulmate. It's like, we think we know shit. We don't know shit. And then we try to give it taglines because... Makes us feel safer. Just love. Or just don't love. Okay? Love thyself. Love, love thy other. Simple. They don't want to be with you? Okay, go away. They want to be with you and you want to be with them? Okay, be together. Oh, you need to go through a journey? Go, go through the journey. Oh, now you can be there? Okay, now be together. Oh. This whole drama thing. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of a rant. All right, let's keep going. Halloween is coming. I'm going to dress up either as Persephone or Morgane Le Fay. Maybe I'll do both because those are my um, uh, spirit animals. My car's name is Persephone. <laughs> my apartment will be named Avalon. <laughs> it's like. It's two different characters from different myths, but it's exactly the same characters. All myths are just different by names and associations, but it's always that magical divine feminine power that speaks out from whichever witch we're talking about. Whichever witch. I, I have no idea how I will call this video, but I really love this reading.
if you're watching and you're like, just shut up and keep on with it and tell me if the person that I like is going to call me next week, this, this, this um, channel is not for you. Maybe it's not for you now and you can make it for you by growing the fuck up and keep listening to me and learning. Excuse my arrogance, I kind of love it about myself. Oh, all right, all right, all right, okay. Ace of Swords, next, next for Cancer. You are my magical creatures. I need to give you magic when I do a reading. What, you just want me to do a mundane reading? Is that good enough for you, Cancer? It's not good enough for me. I like that as well, but sometimes we need an extra oomph. Yeah. Yeah. Cancer, be a magician. Stop asking if he loves you. Who gives a fuck? If he doesn't love you, he's a fucking idiot. Do you know how powerful you are? Do you know how beautiful you are? You must know. You must know. And if not, listen listen to me more so you'll know more. You're fucking drop dead gorgeous. And so smart and so unique and so wise and so, so, so everything. Let him find you. Let her find you. All good. Do your magic, boo. Do your magic. Let's do magic here, okay? I'm going to start making more videos about magic. I'm going to, I think my 13th element for next month will be either about divine timing. Um, what does it mean even? What does it even mean? We'll see. Okay, I want, I want to clear all that uh, rant. I want to go back to the reading with the Ace of Swords. I think the Ace of Swords was just calling me to say all these things. It's a very Ace of Swords moment, what I just had. Sharp truth. Yep. Okay, let's keep going. But this could be a community. This could be people you learn from and grow from. This doesn't have to be people you're contemplating, who should I fuck, who should I marry. Not everything is about that. I mean, it could be. Queen of Cups is a water energy. It could be very much of a Scorpio. It could represent Scorpio season. We also have the crab. We also have you here. Hi. Hi, baby cancer. I love you. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> what can I do? I'm a fan. Um, some of you ladies out there, and this is for the women, are really owning up your sexuality and femininity and... A connection to your intuition no longer apologizing for want to be both beautiful and powerful both sensitive and sharp why do you need to be either or you're not you know there's that um, psychological thing very ancient uh, you're either the mistress or the wife you're either the virgin or the whore you're all of them, honey. You're all of them. You're just wearing different costumes in different situations. All good. And dear man, if you're watching this, this woman that you're contemplating over, that maybe you have dilemmas over, I don't know. What is she? I'm not, I'm not really understanding. Is she this? Is she that? She's all of the above and it's okay. Don't feed into that ancient... Um, ignorant narrative of a woman needs to be either that or that. You're not supposed to understand everything about us. Just like we're not supposed to understand everything about you guys. We're supposed to love each other and be empowered by each other and be inspired by each other and the complexity and, and, um, and the uniqueness is mind-blowing and interesting and beautiful, not scary and weird. Allow her to be gorgeous and vast. Allow yourself to be gorgeous and vast. Stop apologizing. Stop judging. Enough. If there's duality outside of you, there's duality inside of you. Once you'll know exactly who you are, there will only be one option that is very clear. There will be other options on the surface, but you won't have the dilemma. It will, the answer will be clear. Uh, 
why I, I didn't do that about the reading that morning. I was just thinking I wanted to, I, I wanted coffee. Like, oh, wow, I don't have coffee. <laughs> it's late afternoon now that I'm recording this. I'm not supposed to have another cup of coffee. I won't sleep. It's the Taurus full moon that won't let me sleep. I can already read. There There has to be always this one person who comments, you talk so much. Well, yeah, it's my channel. Where else will I talk? I talk about things that matter. Tell me about this King of Pentacles and his Five of Swords. It's that BS dilemma. Someone standing on the fence, um, safe ground, sometimes checking in on that, sometimes checking in on that, but won't completely commit to one option or one person, um, either because they le like to leave their um, options, you know, um, open, or they're just too scared of themselves and of what they will get to know once they'll choose one specific individual, I don't know. Um, but Five of Swords is also a kind of lousy dilemma of like, you know what, just, just make it, just do something. You know, um, then you'll know. You'll either stay there if you like it or you will leave if you don't like it. Like, nothing is set in stone. Even the Excalibur. If the Excalibur got out of the stone, so if you'll make a, a seemingly a wrong, a wrong choice, then you could go back or change your mind. But how will you know if you won't try? The Empress! The Empress is Demeter. She's the mother, mother of the High Priestess of Persephone in the Greek mythology. Demeter is the goddess of life and creation and nature and birth um, and of spring and of summer. And see, this is what drives me crazy. When, when a king is looking at a goddess and thinks he can contemplate or think about it or take his stuff. I mean, really? Okay, you're a king, but only in comparison to humanity. This is a goddess of everything. I mean, honey, if he doesn't wake up, that and you if you're watching and you're contemplating about a woman that embodies this and embodies that all I can tell you is you're a fucking ass go get her before you lose her like it's just simple it is so mind-blowingly simple I, I, I don't even know how to like talk to you I'm sorry bottom of the deck I was about to mix but then I changed my mind um, Merlin, <laughs> the hermit is also in, in Celtic myth, could be the um, expression of Merlin, who was the teacher of um, Morgane, Morgane Le Fay, taught her how to be a magician, high priestess, all that jazz. Ah, and he also, they both read runes, which by the way, at the end of the extended, I also give messages from the runes. Now, normally, if you follow my channel, you know I give messages from these runes. But today, I suddenly had the urge to work with my first set of runes that I carved, that I made. Um, they're made of wood. They even still smell like wood, even though it's been like maybe 12, 13 years. So, great. Okay, a lot of myths here, a lot of gods and goddesses here, a lot of energy um, aspect of things. What am I trying to say to, to Cancer? What is Merlin and the Empress are here to tell Cancer? Ooh, um, the element of time, the importance of patience and time and seasons. You know, the Empress is very much about nature and harvest and seasons and birth. And you don't give birth after before nine months. It's not complete, right? Hermit is nine. So something is being born just at the right time and during that time don't force anyone else only force yourself for growth if there's anyone else involved in the situation whatever it is that you're contemplating about they have their own journey that they need to go through do not put pressure over them 
if you know the other side is ready and you're the one that hasn't been that has been hesitating then take whatever time you need to fucking figure the shit out and then go to them okay because they're not supposed to go to you and if they are evolved as the cancerians that are supposed to resonate with us then they will let you be until you are ready you understand that was the message some of you are reuniting from pagan times you were together in pagan times king of cups hi for the queen of cups hey in aries we had queen of wands and king of wands here for cancer this is you by the way we have king of cups queen of cups this doesn't have to necessarily be the specific zodiacs that are expressed here this means from seven there will be three there will be one okay union union 2018 is the year of the 11 it's the year of the union there are different waves not everybody it's happening at the same time which is why i feel like someone is ready in november someone is ready in january let them go through the process let them become the empress let them become the hierophant let them become the high priestess let them become the hermit by going through being the queen of cups the queen of wands the king of cups the king of pentacles okay um Work your magic from nature. Allow nature to run its course and work with it, not against it. Okay. That was what I was supposed to say. Now let's look at your extended. Um, also, there's also the myth of Guinevere and Morgane Maffei. Um, Guinevere was Arthur's wife. Morgane Maffei was Arthur's half-sister. Um, there are just two sides of the same coin of type of femininity. A complex story but whatever anyway Guinevere was blonde Persephone was brunette in case it matters to anybody um, oh, I'm sorry Morgan Le Fain was brunette yeah but Persephone was also I'm pretty sure a brunette who cares why am I rambling okay this is the first part of your um, if you're new to this channel I vary I change my energy depending on your energy and what I tap into so before you judge me watch other readings <laughs> Um, sorry for being so in your face like that um, but then if I won't do it then who will right so this is the first part 